It's a disease that doesn't discriminate against age or race, and doctors still don't know why we get it. ALS, or Lou Gehrig's disease, affects a person's muscles so that eventually they can't move or even breathe on their own, but they're fully aware of what's happening around them. Unfortunately, there's no cure. News 19's Lauren Tellerico introduces us to a woman living with this debilitating disease. Silence can be a powerful thing. And when you hear the respirator in Kathy Rents's room, you may feel sorry for her. You never think it's going to happen to you. But that's not what she wants. This was not in the plans, um, but we make different plans. Kathy was diagnosed with ALS in 2006 and has lost the ability to do almost everything that she could, including speak. I was meant to be here, and um, I'm blessed, blessed to be here with her. Ginger Thompson has been Kathy's caregiver for almost six years, and over time, she's not only become her friend, she's become her voice. Several doctors tried to help you. They didn't know what was wrong. The final diagnosis was ALS. It was earth shattering for her, but the instincts of a mother quickly kicked in. She kept a lot of those things bottled up and then when we would talk, it would come out. So she tried to, to be the strong mother for her children to not, so they wouldn't be afraid. Kathy has two children, Jada and Steven. He wants to make it better, yeah. He, he wanted to just um, not really talk so much about the ALS, let's just get you better. And I'm not going to get better. At first, I grieved, yeah. It was hard at first, I remember. Then you decided to do as much as you could for as long as you could. She went to her attorney, got her affairs in order, and then I just lived. She traveled, took family vacations, and threw a huge Christmas party. She decided not to let it get her, take, take what life she had. And also welcomed her grandson Spencer into the world. He doesn't even notice anything's different about his granny. It's just granny. Blessings like Spencer are what keep her going and her incredible sense of humor. We do find that if strangers come into the house or, or meet her for the first time, they talk really loud. Um, but no, it, it, ALS has not affected her hearing. Yeah, we laugh a lot here. We cry, we laugh. <laughs> Kathy's body is different than it was. God has a plan for you, yes. So I'm not worried. But Kathy is using the most powerful thing that she has to help find a cure. Her story. Silence can be a powerful thing. Well, you can help Kathy and the thousands like her across the country by simply lacing up your sneakers. The walk to defeat ALS is this Saturday at the Riverfront Canal Park in Columbia. Registration starts at 9 and then the walk starts officially at 10.